Hi, Hi everybody. <laughs> Welcome. <laughs> Welcome. Um, thank you for joining us on our Monday Night Live and thank you to the amazing oh. Zach Douglas. It's a pleasure I'm, to be here. I'm actually, I'm a very big fan of this. <laughs> I've watched it. I love it. I yeah. think it's great. Really? Yeah, it's like learning from your couch at home. How many of you have got a drink in your hand right now? <laughs> Be honest. <laughs> I swear, I'm just going to laugh the whole time. The no, whole we've got to be serious. We've got to be serious. I, I will know. try and dedicate myself to the dog <laughs> okay <laughs> i've literally been so excited about this because you do make me smile and you make me laugh and oh. you're this amazing groomer so i'm very happy and very proud to have you on you. our monday night lovely live to be here. Lovely to be here. and we have the beautiful little lachlan with us yeah he's two and a half years old king charles cavalier of course that's what we're doing yeah what we're here for um he is an absolute puss. So, <laughs> you know, he's very, very, he's, he's very much the cavalier mentality. So if he falls asleep, <laughs> don't judge. <laughs> yeah. And because I haven't seen him since he was a baby. So mm. I was like, baby Lachlan. They're like, <laughs> he's not baby no, Lachlan anymore. he's not. God bless him. So yeah. we're here to just so, um, we're concentrating on pet trim today. So we're, you know, if there's any showies in the audience, don't judge. Um, no, well. Well, this is what it's about. So mm. we like to um, <laughs> teach people and um, groomers how to groom their pets at home yeah, or any little important. tips and tricks. So today we, we are going to, what are we going to start with his feet? Yeah, absolutely. So there's a couple of different things to do with a Cavalier's foot. Um, traditionally, they obviously have the, the lovely Clydesdale foot there. Um, so, okay, so we'll go back to basics. So yep. these are... Because I'm Lap a comp- dogs. Uh, yeah, exactly. <laughs> they don't have a purpose no. other than keep your feet warm. <laughs> yeah, well, that's their purpose. Yeah, well, yeah, ex- <laughs> that's exactly their purpose. No, so I'm a confirmation person. So, um, they are truly an untrimmed breed. Yes, but yep. it is really hard to have an untrimmed breed um, where you live. Of course. <laughs> so we're in regional Victoria. And- out in Lancefield, yeah. Um, and long coats are just well, they're virtually impossible, really. There's yeah. grasses and seeds and things. Yeah. Um, especially coming yeah. into the summertime, you want to start, and because all this rain that we've had, the grass has just gone absolutely yeah. berserk. So, and and I must say, when I had my salon, there I maybe had one or two clients that didn't get their cavi trimmed. It was just yeah. a bath and yeah. a brush, and that was it. Yeah. Um, but. All the other clients all got their little paws mm. trimmed, their underline trim, sometimes their little ears if yeah. they got in the water yeah. or their food. Because these guys will chew their ears. They don't care what <laughs> what is attached to their anatomy. <laughs> if it's got food on it, they're going to consume it. So <laughs> Exactly. Oh, hey, hey, Tara, how are you? <laughs> Thank you for joining us. Um, we're going to start with his paws. Um, um, and then move on to his underline. And do you trim these ears? I do, like I said, just because he, I mean, you know, I'll take the ends off them today um, just because it's nice. I don't like the sort of wispy look. I like a nice sort of. They're yeah. beautiful. They are lovely. They are lovely. It's, it's just... almost longer than my hair. <laughs> <laughs> it's such a good colour too. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so, I mean, there's a couple of things we can do with his feet. Um, you can keep the Clydesdale sort of look. Um, and just sort of like trim them up so that they're a little bit neater, or you can take them back to um, like a cat foot that you do similarly on a yeah, 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 like on a yeah. golden retriever or any kind of gun dog, really. Yeah. Um, so today we're going to, I'll show you both if you like. Um, we tend to sort of, I'm going to try and do this. Mel told me before we did this that <laughs> I, <laughs> it would be easier to do the back feet, but um, so we t- just tend to sort of like just to scoop out some of this hair that we've got underneath here. And you're using a 30 blade, and these are the Schoenbau clippers. It's so quiet. I love so them. So quiet. They, they are my go Good go-to. if you've got ticklish dogs. I mean, Lachlan's not too ticklish, and, but... And um, puppies and babies and things like that, I find them really great. Am I going to be covering that if I no, go over this good. way? I'm going to try and do oh, it. Oh, there so we that... go. We've gone to the close-up camera. Oh, there we go. Okay, great. So if we move him around this way. We're manoeuvring him. We're manoeuvring. I'm a newbie oh, so don't judge me. <laughs> so what you want to do is um, never go right to the ends of his, his feet because you're going to get little indentations taken 
out. So what that means is when the foot is in flat on the ground, we want from um, the back of his foot just to come into that first toe and just be that nice transition. And if we do scoop it out too much, we can get a little into You get there. a little high, right, and you don't want him to look like he's wearing Manolos. As fun as that would be, it's not a good look for the caddy. So just a nice little scoop. Just, just, just to stop him from sliding around on the floor. We've got wooden floors at home. Um, and I think it's a good idea as well. Even if um, you yeah. don't, if people don't like a tight foot, I think it's a good idea to trim out the pads to stop oh, them from absolutely. sliding. Absolutely, because like it's, it's a, it is a liability with these guys. Um, they're a small dog, and you know you don't want them to do any damage to their hips or the, their legs. So it is sort of, you know, and Lachlan is very much if he sees something shiny, he's going to go off and play. <laughs> Yeah. So he, there's not a great deal going on up there. So you want to sort of make it minimalistic that it's not going to, they're yeah. not going to do anything that hurts a dog. Because back in the day, you might not know this, but they they bred these lovely, lovely Clyde's off feet because King Charles himself didn't like the on the board. So they bred them to quieten the noise down at the palace. Of course, at the palace. At the palace. Um, well, whatever they had back then in the 17th, 15th yeah. century or whatever. Yeah. Yeah. So there's a couple of little things that we can do. We can either just sort of just trim. So we're in front of the camera. Well, which one have we got here? <laughs> camera that one. one. <laughs> camera one. So I, I tend to sort of like flick them up a little bit. And you can just just take the ends off them just to try and just to keep that lovely sort of round. And then as you're scissoring, you're using the tips of your scissors. Yeah. Yeah, that's amazing. Because we don't want to go, I mean, let's not hurt the dog. <laughs> let's not hurt the dog. So you can either, ju you just see how much cleaner that looks. Can we see the, yeah, the, already. the, the two there, right? See how it takes off those lovely little wee bits, but it's yeah. still got that sort of cavalier look about it. Can we see yeah. the difference between the two? See, this is un unkept and this one's lovely and trimmed up. Or we can take the whole the whole shebang off. Have I got my what do I oh there we are there. Oh so um, are you using thinners? So hang on. So what are you using here? So those are just a I mean, just, just a standard so they're a, they're like Lee they are an eight inch. They are, we're all size queens here. Yeah. Um or you can take it like right back. So we, we can get, get all of this up. So what you do with your slicker? So we're using a farm pin slicker. And we're going to brush it up. Brush and it all up. Similar to, like I said, like what you would do with the golden retriever or any of those sort of ones. And, I mean, to start off with, I'd probably try and get a little bit of bulk off it with that. You can go in. So not trimming any shorter than the hair yes. that's coming down the foot. Yeah, so you want to, the, the ones that you want to focus on are in between the toes, yeah. Yeah. So these ones here. Which is a good idea because I feel like... Um, Cavaliers tend to pick up a lot of grass seeds. Yeah, they, they do. They mm. like because they're very, very close to the ground. Yeah, do yeah. You know what I mean? And I mean, we have very mildew mornings out where we are. Oh uh, yeah. So wet grass is not fun. I hate wet grass. My partner will attest to that. That it's not. You know, he, whenever he does the mowing on the weekend, he's just shaking his head. <laughs> you can guarantee that Lachlan's going to bring it all in the following day. And it does, it, I mean, it does drive us crazy. We've paid a lot of money for our floors, but they're not very practical. Yeah. It, well, it's like that. You kind of like, um, it is hard because if you don't have carpet everywhere or mats, yeah. it, yep. it is really, really hard. So well, see, how that, that's, see how that's a little bit, see the... Yeah, that's beautiful. Just a little bit neater there. I mean, you can go, you can go much, much closer if you want to. I mean, I like, I do like, to keep that sort of cavalier a more el natural yeah outline but i'm just trying to show you the like what how how much more you can take that in so see how this one's like completely and i know all the purists are probably turning their little noses no, up at that but, because it's but practical it's, grooming. this is like it's it's a, it's a pet trim and we like to sort of you know focus on definitely the pet there we go see? i think that's nice so what would you do around the back of Around the back end, so no, around the back of the front foot. About around the back of the front foot. So, <clears throat> is that what you're saying here? Sure. 
Um, I tend to like, um, so if you, if you brush all of, all of this down, these little bat wings here. So sure are you using a fine tooth comb or? That is a fine one there. Do you prefer or, I mean, that? I, I do prefer a looser one only because Lachlan's coat is extremely fine. Um, so, and I noticed that um, using a fine tooth comb, it was out too much hair yeah. as you were going through yeah. earlier. Yeah, so then we chose to use the um, the teeth that are a bit further apart. Because um, if you haven't got knots, there's no point in ripping out the hair. Do you know what I mean? So you want to no. try and keep you want to try and keep what is there. Because um, they should be. I mean, they they are supposed to have a lovely long flowing coat. So we want to flatten all of that down. I tend to sort of grab grab him up by you know his little elbow here, and you want to bring all of the hair down again, very very similar to a gun dog. And I would cut it off here. Oh, at the back of the pad? At the back of the pad. Mm -hmm. um, so anything hanging over. Yeah. And it's all, if you've got a boy cavalier and he's cocking his leg, it, it, mm. you'll notice that that is well, really, I really yellow to dogs, take off. So yeah. that's so annoying. <laughs> Eddie, I mean, God bless him. We, we've tried to get him to squat, but occasionally a leg will go up. <laughs> well, well, you do. I mean, most of us do. You sort of like get him to squat and he'll sort of, you know, <laughs> pee up in between type thing but if he does get one some of these legs um it does you know you get your yellow tinting so yeah. what i tend to do is just yeah, follow it down cut it all off that one length right at his pad can you see that there yeah am i going too close yeah. and just, just just so that it it, it should just just more. and if it if it's going more you can you can go in here and take off if you wanted a uh, shorter yeah, feathering much yeah. much more feathering if you want to I, I like it to sort of just hit that ground sort of level there so and it's lovely and sometimes clean. Sometimes if you've got an older Cavalier, it can be nice to take the featherings a bit shorter. Yeah, I think it's kinder. And yeah. again, coming into summer, like it's warmer, you want to sort of, you know, give them a little bit of comfort, I suppose. Because, um, yeah. I mean, there are people that take everything off. They'll do a seal clip on their cavies mm. and they'll take it right back to either a five or a seven. God forbid it should be a 10, but each to their own. <laughs> um, and, you know, I mean, that can be that can be really, really comfy for the dogs. Yeah. I like to sort of meet in the middle. I mean, we're not doing a full um, blown cavalier trim type thing yeah. um, all over, but at least if you trim up the outlines, he's not going to be quite so dirty. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, definitely. So what do you do after you've done your front foot? Once we've done our front feet, I come around and... Do his rear? Are we are we going to do his rear on? Yeah, of <laughs> yeah, we course. are going to. Yeah, Good Lord. of course. Are you going to do his rear foot? You, oh, do you want me to do those as yeah, well? Yeah, yeah, because okay. um, they're different feet. Okay, so the his back, his with all my clients like it all off. Julie said. Do they, do Whoa. they? I, I well, Julie, <laughs> I must admit, I tend to take Lachlan's off as well. I, I will tidy them up again, like. A golden retriever. Yeah. Do you know, like, I, I tend to sort of like, I, I take it off because it's not really necessary. There's a lot bustling. He's carrying a lot of bustle at the back here. I kind of feel out where we are, I would take it off. So go, Yudi. Um, <laughs> but if you want it exactly the same as the front, the front feet there, comb it all down like this. And we can. And you've already clipped out. I mean, pad. I've already clipped it off, so there's there's not a great deal here. Like we're sort of growing that back. You know, and we this, but... do have a video on clipping out pads. So if anybody wants to learn how to clip out pads, you can go to our YouTube channel, and there's a video. It's of my vision, but it's the same. Every same day. principle, same exactly pad. right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like you said, so long as you don't go all the way, so it looks like they're wearing stilettos. It's that's <laughs> totally fine. Oh, look, there's a little bit more on this one. We can probably. Oh, there we go. It's a bit more there. We don't want to get his tail. Make sure you swing it, his yeah, tail. Yeah, and one sometimes side. I used to, as I'm holding their um, back leg, I would hold the tail in my hand as well because some cavies get so friendly and their tails they do. Like their, their tails don't tend to stop. I mean, Lachlan is being so kind to us now because he's quite tired. Yeah, like I would. But hold this will be just going like, berserk. Like this. Yeah. I would oh, there you go. Wrap it yeah, around. Yeah, yeah. But yeah. sometimes they're just too happy. <laughs> <laughs> Harrison's was a very happy tale, wasn't it? He, he never stopped, never stopped. Um, so, so once we've done, once we've done his back, his back legs, I'll obviously, you can shave out his little bot, bot, bot here. Are we, is it? Is oh, that, did you do his foot? His, oh, you want me to shave the other one out? 
Say. Yeah, clip it out and then um, you can scissor his foot. Scissor the feet as well on the yeah. tops? Yeah. Okay, great. Well, because sometimes it can be um, a different technique in how you hold him and okay. how you manoeuvre him around. And... I tend to sort of bring his leg, uh, I mean, the front, obviously. Well, that's quite right, actually, because <laughs> the front you would bend you would bend to the back. These ones you sort of bring up. So the yeah. um, same sort of principle. We brush all these little... All those hairs up. All those little hairs up. And On like I said, you can either do the just the ends like this to give him that sort of... So you come straight off. At, so from the pad, you're coming straight up and around. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because yeah, yeah. Yeah. you don't want to... Really bad. Thing, and, and again, same with the golden retrievers. You don't want to have that sort of pointy sort of look. Um, I, I've always really... And visually... Like a hair I, foot you want to... Round foot, yes, you don't want to yes, yes, foot. yes, yes. Tie yeah. hat like is what yeah. you taught me all yeah. of those many moons ago. <laughs> that was my teacher. For those of you who don't know, yeah, it's like fifteen years ago. So you've been grooming for fifteen years. A long years? time. It's been a long time. <laughs> fifteen years. Yeah, it's been. I, I went straight off Big Brother and into grooming. Yeah. How's that? Yeah. And I tried to go back to my regular profession and it just didn't work. So we had to. Work what was your regular profession? Well, I was doing course of tree. That's right. And then I tried to get back into retail and it was horrific. I got a lovely little boutique on Chapel Street and people were just banging on the windows. <laughs> I thought, oh, this isn't going to work. So a friend, Farmer Dave, who you, some of you probably know, yeah. um, said he was in Melbourne at the time and he said, come and work for me. I've got a studio. We're doing stuff with dogs. I'll hide you out the back. No one will ever know that you're even here. Yeah. So I, that's how I got to work in this so house. It was Farmer Dave. were you on Big Brother with him or was he on another He was service? the year before oh, me. that's right. I couldn't remember. Mm, yeah. yeah, he was the year before me. And I think the gays kind of stick together. You know, we kind of sort of migrate. <laughs> he made contact with me and said, look, I know what you had to go through. Here's my number. Reach yeah. out to me if you need me. And we became really, really good friends. I toured around with him. Yeah. He was doing he's his... a nice guy. He's very, very nice and very good in our little doggy community too. Yeah, he does a lot of good. Um, and when I first met you, I had no idea that you were on Big Brother. Uh... I didn't watch it. <laughs> <laughs> Which is what I like. I, what I like. <laughs> and But the pressure too of going, because I went straight to your studio. I thought, okay, I need a qualification. I don't want to be just one of those Joe Blows doing God knows what. <laughs> um, so I thought, I want the qualification. And it was very intimidating coming to your salon, your school, for no. the very first time. Wasn't I? Do you remember? I shook. I was like... I really want to get in with her. I really want, hope she <laughs> likes me. And then it was, yeah, it was very, very, very nerve wracking. And oh. because to go straight <laughs> off essentially national TV, television yeah, yeah. to then having to go back to work and think, well, okay, I need to find a profession. It's, it's, it's very, very intimidating mm. yeah, and we, very, a very humbling experience. We had some good times and you were in a class oh, with Caroline. Great times. Yes. And, um, oh, yes. She was beautiful um, from New Zealand. Yes. So, she was a lot of fun. Um, a shout out to her if you're watching. Oh, and because she's a cabby girl too. She is. Yes. Yeah. There you go. So yeah. see how that kind of, get back to the dog. Yeah. <laughs> we're probably losing people as we talk so much um back to see how it's lovely and round so yeah it's, it's much much that. nicer and if you take the if you take the fronts off like this, look at that yeah that's really really nice yeah that's nice. perfecto well done Lachlan well done oh yeah look I have my own cavalier puppy and we're oh but please can you tell me brush and tool oh fabulous yeah so say you've done the feet Oh, what do you do with a hock? Sorry, before we do um, the brushes and stuff, what do you do with your hock? So, um, like before, we just just comb it down. I mean, I've taken Lachlan's off maybe like six or eight weeks ago. So, mm -hmm. like I said, grass and stuff are out where we are. So, there's not a great deal there. But if you um, just comb it down exactly the same as a front hand, bring it round to keep it nice and flat, and then it's literally just one, one clip Go, straight do across. It, do it. There's not much there to take off, but look at that. So just oh, to keep beautiful. it like nice, and, just to keep it nice and just so it's not um, touching yeah, the ground. Yeah, yeah. And... Or like like Julie said before, some people will take it right back. You can go down there with a five or a seven, but mm. it does tend to heighten the dog. So just bear that in mind yeah. that they do tend to sort of look a little <laughs> bit sticky once you start to take those. If you're going to take that off. I would probably take a little bit more of his featherings as so well. So it's more balanced. Just so it's balanced. You're quite right. Because otherwise, 
like the dog does look not right. And these guys, you don't want them to look long or tall. They're a small dog. You want them to look packed and cute. We are breeding them down inside, so you want to sort of keep that sort of look about them. So, Perfect. what are you using? Okay, so the tools we're using today, tools. and I just quickly spoke about the combs and. Um, Zach and I spoke about this earlier because I said, do you want a fine tooth comb? And mm -hmm. he's like, no, no, no. And then he showed me why, because as he's going through the coat, it's, ta mm. it's taking quite it a will. lot of hair it out. Will bring the, it'll, it'll take coat out that's not, and you want it, you do want to hang on to it. So if you, if you, if you choose a wider tooth comb, it's, it's, it's just going to go through and separate your hair. It's not going to pull out those tangles and knots and rear it down. I mean, some people do want to thin them out and you can take to these guys with a stripping comb if you like. So would you throw this one? You, I mean, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> gently, 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 gently. So, you know, those and a really good slicker. This is amazing. You guys, you so, guys are selling these. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> how good is this? So this is a fine pin slicker and you can see how fine it is. It's so beautiful. good for these guys. Oh, you like that, buddy? I'll, yeah. I'll, I'll, I'll sort you out with that. <laughs> um, so, and they He's separate. Going with the goodie bag. <laughs> yeah, 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 exactly. Yeah. Come down to the warehouse. <laughs> Um, so it separates really well. So you're using this on mm. the body. It is because it's lovely and, and gentle. To do yeah, be yep, all that stuff. So scissors. Tell me about your scissors because everyone always wants to know about scissors. I I I'm a really really lazy groomer, so I tend to go for something that's light. I I know I I like I like a light sheer. Lazy, you're not lazy. Oh, no. High expectations, I suppose, <laughs> but um, I don't use anything under eight inches, both in the bedroom and on the grooming table. So a nice flat, straight shear, and then just thinners, really. Yeah. Josh has just walked out. <laughs> so there you go. I like the Kenchies, like I said, because they're nice and light. They're very comfortable. And so I've tried these, and I can't use them because they're too big. The shank's too big. Really? <laughs> yeah. Really, yeah. you little hands. Yeah, I can't. Like, it's just too big here to here. Because i got little hands. Right. I mean, find one that's comfortable beautiful. for you. But they're beautiful. They are comfortable. They're actually not that expensive either. Uh, you know, people sort of think, I mean, Kenshi do go right up to those, like, yeah, $700, yeah. 800 pairs of scissors. But, I mean, I, as grooming, Where like, every day. Where did you buy these day, from? Where did I buy them from? From DGS? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. These are DGS. Yes. Um, and... They last really well. Poor Ian Parsons. I think he cries every time I send him my scissors. Oh, but no. He's like, no, I don't like the beveled edges. They're not going to do it. Oh, you know. Poor thing. <laughs> poor, so, Ian, I'm, I do apologise. But they're ridiculously comfortable to use. And like I said, every day using that, you want to find a pair of scissors that's comfortable for exactly. you. Exactly. And I do, <laughs> I've got to keep plugging my videos. But I do have a video on <clears> how <throat> to fit scissors ah, very good. and different edges and all that so if you are wanting to know how to fit scissors yeah. to your hands and which is like important that. for us groomers if it you're doing it five days a week because it's... i can't i wouldn't be able to use these because i couldn't maximize the amount of blades right right like i can't open it right well, but, yeah, yeah yeah and the yeah. same as these as well. you do so much hand scissoring that that's why. This is why. Yeah. So these, what are these? These are just some El Cheapos, I think. I think those are, mean? yeah, they just everyday grooming ones. So where did you get these from? <laughs> I, I do have Kenchies in there over in my little pack, but I can't remember where I got those from. So, and um, they're a... 45, I think. 45 42. Um, and does it say it on there? Yeah. Oh, it does, 46. There we 46 go. 46 tooth. So um, we have been speaking a lot about... Um, um, thinners and things like that. Mm. So this is a 46 tooth. So the the teeth are closer together. Perfect for this yes. breed. Yes, yeah, yeah. You would not, not use a chunker, a like a chunker because it would take out too much hair. Whereas a 40, oh, and just, it, it, yeah, and it just looks messy on the dog. So any does. like these that are can you see the maybe if I put it on the thing. <clears throat> yeah. Or sort of. Oh, hang on. Actually. Can you say not really? No. I won't. They all know. You know what I'm watching. saying. You get what I'm saying. Your groomers, you know what we're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay. So then, after you've done feet, what do you do? Bottom. The bot bot. So bottom? we we. Oh. But with this, um, 
I would call it a jacket, but I don't know if you I'd do that next. Yep. Yeah, I like to do like his points and that first, like, you know, in his, um, he's already shaved out in his so groin area. I but... know a lot of people, and as I go through his coat, there's hair. Yeah, coming, I know. But it's <laughs> been like hot, cold, hot, cold. In yeah. Melbourne, it's ridiculous. Yeah. So, um, and I know a lot of people at home have probably got like hair everywhere. Yeah, yeah. So, these guys. Guys are tumbleweeders. <laughs> if you've got dark floors like me, do it. I, I wouldn't. Get a white belt. I wouldn't go. Get a poodle. <laughs> yeah, you can tell it's going to retain. Because um, yeah. It, so how do you remove that loose dead hair? A little controversial. I know some people are going to be really annoyed with me here. Once when I first showed. No, nothing's controversial. You don't think so? Nah. Well, because I, I can tell you who said it too, but I, I won't on camera. Oh. <laughs> When I first showed him, I remember stripping him for the first time and there was somebody in the audience and said, that's just cruel. Um, and she would have been maybe three three or four metres away from me. And I thought, well, no, it's not cruel. If you know what you're doing, and we've spoken, it's not a cruel process. Yeah, we have spoken about de-shedding as well and yeah. how to do it correctly. Yes. So there is techniques that um, you can do where it does not hurt the dog. Exactly. And... Um, yeah, so, so what are we doing? So with I would use a nice a nice stripping knife just for the like to run over the tops of so him. So I picked these up from the UK the other week. Yeah, um, and they're like and they're the beauties. Oh they're... my god, they're so comfortable. I know. So um, comfortable. So these are the Amy Nancer stripping knives. Right. And um, well, Amy Nancer knows what she's doing. <laughs> she does. She does. <laughs> yes. Shout out to Amy. <laughs> my inbox is waiting. Um, <laughs> So you are going, one is a coarse and yep. one is a fine yep. and you're going to use a fine. I'm going to use a fine. So reverse to what with the combs, we're mm -hmm. going to, we want to try and keep the teeth closer together because he's a gentle little soul and he will know. We want yeah. to be as kind to him as possible. So, so. Paula, <laughs> I told I you he'd go to sleep. I did. Why don't I have Dash on here? Yes. He just falls asleep in a second. Oh. I put him on the floor and he runs around like a crazy. Easy man. So what we're going to do, make sure that you n and never so rip through, like, through his... You always want to hang on to it first. You want to support it a little bit. So just nicely and gently get a nice good hold on your, your stripper knife. I tend to sort of use my thumb as a little bit of support on the knife just so that you've got roll over it. Because if you're doing these ones, like, the blade is going to move around. You want to keep that blade nice and still. You correct me if I'm wrong. But, but you do want to try and keep edge, that. Yeah, yeah. You do want to keep it nice and still. So what we're going to do and is just flat go against the coat. flat up against his coat and see it's going to take out all of his horrible little doobie doobies. And this is so similar to what we were doing we on, that, um, on the black hair. Yeah, see how that's a lot of hair. It just takes out that those love, those all of those horrible little wispy bits. And with the Cavaliers, you can still give them shape. I know everyone sort of thinks there's not much that you can do with them, but there actually is. You can bring in his neck a oh, little bit if so you want to. You can do there's with so carting, much you can do with carting out coat. And it's it's such a gentle, slow process that you can you can change it so, so, so quickly. So especially with his neck here, see how it's all like an absolute, it's a bit of a it's dog's pretty breakfast. Hairy. It's, it's quite hairy <laughs> there. And, and likewise with his ears, you can do a little bit of camera, but see how this and is all going. And I was going. finding that, like, when we were standing here before we went on air, I was just like, yeah, do, 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 yeah. fling out here. Yeah. And I'm like, stop, stop. Yeah. <laughs> we need some for camera. We need some yeah. for camera. But see how you can just take some of this out. So you're actually just... stripping then. Like, you're using a stripping technique yeah. and not a carding yeah. technique. Yeah. So you're doing a bit of a mix. Yeah. Well, a bit of a hybrid. It, it's more. It's more sort of. It sort of sits where you want it to. Do you know what I mean? Like you can yeah. give him. You can sort of accentuate his little muscles at the front here. I mean, not. God bless him. Not too much, but you know, you can just <laughs> sort of like bring all of this in and bring it down. Make sure that you're going in the direction that you want the coat to go in. Obviously. And I've noticed that the areas that you're doing after you've um, removed that loose hair it's coming up nice and bright like your whites yeah, are brighter of course. yeah 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 so colors. all of these little chestnut chestnuts here because obviously the bits that are, the dead hair and the bits that want to fall out are going to be a little bit lighter you want to try and keep all of these guard hairs in there we've spoken a little bit about guard hairs as well you sure have Mel, Mel, the guard <laughs> hair queen. Hey. so you can oh do you can God. do in his chest here 
all up the side here. These bits here. Am I going in front of the camera? You tell me if I need to move. I'm not sure because no, I was that's watching. Okay. Yeah, that's fine. That's okay. So go right down. Go right down. So you wouldn't get your knife and come in and go down like that. You would always. Yeah, 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 yeah. I did yeah. want to have a go. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So in so so his neck and everything and and likewise with his rear, you can just sort of bring it around. You think like um, um, I want to say schnauzer or west, like that. It's sort of you sort of just just sort of scoop it around just to the top of like his tail up here, just so, so that it's a little bit cleaner. So you want to take some of this off? Oh, oh. oh. I mean, oh, if, I'm if, doing it. Yeah. <laughs> She's like, I'm doing it. I mean, you can, you could go down, you could, could go down, you know, in that sort of section if you want. to. I did to, feel like in, in here. A few I know that there's a lot, yeah. He has, he does have a lot sort of bustling at the back here. Use your eye, I suppose. Yeah, and it's the dull hairs that we sort of want to That's what you want to take and... out. I mean, use that as your guideline, I suppose, that you sort of think, well, okay. Take that out as well. Yeah. Um, but bring it around, the, like, just, just under the top of his tail here. Because I'm, I would sort of trim this out anyway. Like I'd be taking out a little bit of this just to keep his like little, you know, so sanitary. So can I just face this way a little bit more, and then you can do his little rear end. So I would sort of lift his tail up, put it all down. I mean, you can also take the ends off his little tail here while we're here. If he's got like little wispy, which he does. See how there's like those horrible like. Almost like little split and looks. Think someone... Pantene commercial girls. <laughs> hey Benjamin, I hope you're well. Hey. <laughs> um, and we just take ju see how that was just millimeters, and it just cleans up. Yeah, the end. and sometimes there'd be cavi owners that would like the tail quite short because. Oh of, yeah, um, you can take it right back if you want because to. Because it was just you know picking up everything in their in their yard. Yeah, they act almost like sweepers, don't they? Yeah, yeah. It Exactly. So what I would do, I wouldn't go like over like what maybe an inch, an inch and a half from the top of his little duty there. <laughs> do, well, bot bot. <laughs> we're trying to be we're trying to be friendly here. I'm trying to do it no, so you right. can actually see what we're doing. So see how we we just take out this little section here. Oh uh, yeah. Yep. Yeah. Just to clean it up so that if he's going to have because Lachlan is a really lazy toileter as well. Oh, that doesn't oh, yeah, sound yeah, like yeah. a cavalier at all. <laughs> Harrison used to go on cue. Oh, you tell him to go to the loo and he would just, he would, oh, he was an absolute trooper. Lachlan, on the other hand, oh, he always that's... goes back to the first pot that he sniffed. It's always a second. See how the second child. Can we see that without looking too, you know, right? Yeah, it's the... just tidied it just, up. It's just, just nice and nice and tidy. Mm. And then some people will also, like when we go to do the outline as well, they tidy up his little bustle here. So oh, you can... you're welcome, Tracy. Yeah. Who's... Tracy. <laughs> On the screen. Hello, Tracy. <laughs> she from the UK. What is it? Is it that little, yeah. How good is yeah. that? Yeah. Oh, you, you guys would have heaps of cavaliers over there, right? It's bot, like... bot. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Julie. <laughs> um, so we would take out, so we just sort of go in here and just clean this out a little bit, right? So just just follow the line that's already there. Start up here. We're going there. Yeah. And we're just going to snip out up. those. Oh, that's beautiful. See what I mean? So, Zach, you're a mobile groomer. Yes. That's nice. Yep. So, I have a little salon that I have a Savelle yeah, back in the day a when. A trailer. Yeah, when Tash was with us. I, I, yeah, the beautiful Tash. So, you. Were always the mobile? No, 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 no. So when I did, I did my schooling with you guys, um, and then I was still at the salon in Port Melbourne, um, and then oh, I, I went, that time. yes, yeah. and then I went mobile um, just as I wanted to go out on my own. Yeah, um, I had mobile is great because you can you've got so much more control over who you take and where you go, and yeah, it's it, it's more controlled, I think. But yeah, I'm I'm mobile. Been doing mobile since. Since what, 2014? Wow. I think it was. I did a few years at the salon and then it was, yeah, I'm pretty sure the, the, the trailer is 2014. Um, so wow. it has been a while. 
It has been a while, but great. The Savelle trailers are great to work in. If anyone else has got one at home, they'll attest to it. They're very, so very you prefer? Do you prefer mobile or cell phone? Because oh. I've done both as well. And I know what your answer is going to be. But I think the good thing about um, mobile is that you can obviously, you have a little bit of a break in between dogs. That's provided that you're not going back to back client, like all within the one house. Oh, I used to do them all in the whole street. Really? Oh. You were that organised. <laughs> Actually, I did have a, I had a, um, um, a little ladies' lunch group in Brighton when I was in the yeah, city. Yeah. And they would all bring their dogs to this one lady's house and I would do like a doggy party and they would all, they just get ridiculously drunk and tip really, oh really well. Oh, my God. so good. Um, but it was just one after the other. It was just like bang, 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 bang. They're just all demanding. Do you know what I mean? Wow. It was a lot of fun. I had one in Brighton and I had a ladies' lunch group in Burak as well. They did the exact same thing. A lot of fun, but the, with mobile, when you've sort of got like either one or two dogs per household, you get that nice little break in between of setting up and whatever. See, I didn't like the break. I wanted to like you wanted just, to keep going. Yeah, yeah, that's why I prefer. Salad. She's money making this gal. That's why. Yeah, <laughs> I she's just a hard hated worker. that downtime. But in saying that, like. I had a big area, so it was huge. That you covered? Yeah. See, so I, I Sometimes I would have to drive like 45 minutes to get oh. to another dog. So I was like, that's another dog. Like I'm missing out. If I'm doing that every day or a couple of times a day, that's like, you know, I could sometimes yeah. only do like five God, yeah. dogs yeah. Where, in a it salon. Is the, that is a trade -off. Yeah. Um, and I think financially it's, it's virtually perfect. I'm eating Lachlan now. Um, it is virtually the same. You sort of think, well, the costs that you would spend in electricity and power at a salon, yeah. it's kind of, this, especially now with the price of fuel, it kind of works out the same. So do you charge a service fee? For, um, I have a minimum call out is okay. what I, I like yeah. to call it. Yeah. Um, purely because I think then people sort of understand that, well, he's got to travel, especially where we are. I'm in the Macedon Ranges. Yeah. So to get in between clients' houses can yeah. be taxing, I that, suppose. That was me, yeah. yeah. So tell me, because you were like right in the middle of the city, yes. mobile. Yes. This is what I think, yes. find amazing, yes. everybody. <laughs> like, <laughs> Why did you leave it? Why? Yes, they were all so no, well paid. No, 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 not even that. That you were like in a city. Yep. Like, you know, no branding on your trailer whatsoever no, which is fine no. but then you moved like mm. to regional victoria yes. and still no branding no and no i've never you once might have taken a few <laughs> no and you might have taken a few clients with you mm. how did you do that like you said I, I do still have some of my melbourne girls come out to me in regional they'll come to the house yeah because they just have not managed to let go. If you're watching, God bless you. Yeah. Um, they just, I guess anything like your own hairdresser, you tend to like one person that does it and you don't tend to want to let them go. But yeah, I think I, I spoke to the local vet in um, Woodend. Oh, um, yeah. They were looking for a groomer at the time and they, they, they had a salon attached. Yeah. They approached me to groom for them. I wasn't going to go and work for somebody else. I wanted yeah. to stay on my own. And you already had all your setup. I well. had all the setup and everything, so I just, I just started. But you, it only takes you to do a handful of the right people, the right clients, and then they do all the work for you. That's, I mean, that's what's always happened. With so me. you didn't even do any referral cards, nothing. You were like, oh, I maybe left some business cards at the um, wow. the vets, and that's probably it. And that's all it took. It took a couple of business cards, and like I said. They give them out to their neighbours, to their friends. Yeah. Um, do you trim inside the uh, um Oh, that's a good question. It is good. It is really, really good. Inside the Cavaliers, it, it will help clean them up a little bit. Lachlan um, hates oh, having them. Oh, but look, this is a bit shorter. Yeah, it is. Yeah, it is. You are right, Charles? Oh, darling, what are you saying? <laughs> are you okay? It's very taxing. <laughs> um, we do, I do tend to sort of take out the insides of Lachlan's ears. Um, on, what, on what number? I will only go to a 10, 10. because anything shorter and can, Lachlan just shakes oh, because, his head yeah, like crazy. Because what can Doesn't happen like is, it. guys, when we go shorter and they're not, especially if they're not used to it, mm. and the ear leather goes back and then it rubs on the, again, the shorter area of the outer ear canal, it can just cause a bit of irritation. Yeah, yeah. So 
So yeah, I would never do any shorter than a ten, or yeah. I would do like a seven. Yeah, or oh, seven is extremely kind because it can help owners at home as well. Yeah, I think so too. And just to get some air in there is kind of nice. These guys can get really, really yeasty in the ears. Yeah. Um, and that's never a pleasant smell. Let's be honest. So it is just nice yeah. to sort of air them out a little bit, and just to take away some of that tangle weight as well. With his, we can talk about ears now if you like. Yeah, are you, do you trim his underline? I, I do, yeah. Do, so do you trim the underline before the ears? Before? Yeah. No. Do you trim the ears before the underline? Would I trim, you're saying the inside? No, the, the, um, the tips. Or would I do that first? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, right. No, why, what are you doing? <laughs> oh, I do ears last. Really? Yeah, because I like to see how balanced the dog is because I don't want to then balance the dog on how short the ears are. Wow. Yeah. Oh, see, we're all learning Whoa. well, aren't we? Jazz <laughs> <laughs> it, Well, I mean, it really does. And to, Lachlan, for example, I would I would literally, we're taking the ends off. Just, just his tiny little, um, I like to call them, you know, broken ends type thing, split ends and things, because he will chew when he puts his head down and this, this is all going forward. Like I said before, if yeah. it's got food in it, he's going to consume it. So it's just, I. some clients will take it right up to the leather. God bless him, he's going to sit oh, down. Yeah. Um, no. They will take it right up to the leather and some people will also take them off. So a really cute thing that we used to do at the salon mm. um, was to take it off with a comb. So if you take yeah, a the comb, comb attachment, attachment and it gives the dog these lovely sort of layered ears. So yeah. as, you, as you're scooping down with your, with your clippers, it's taking off those lovely layers. Yeah. And, and then it does look so cute. It's around here and then yes. you can use your thinners to... Um, mm. Um, blend it in and yep. it could look nice and soft. I used to like doing it on little girls. Oh, cute, right? Yeah, yeah. And even some of the Asian fusion ones now, I've seen them um, where they'll actually do like little ringlets. So they'll, oh. yeah, they'll wax them up and ring, ringlet them. And they, it does look cute. If Jump on Google Images now and Google like the, Not now, maybe Well, after. No, not now. Wait till after the show. Let's, yeah. But it can be really, really cute. So let's trim these So we're just going to take see, these tiny little ends off. See how they look. So these, you don't want to go, you don't want to go straight across. We're not, we're not like a, we're not going for that sort of poodle sort of jump. Um, you want to try and keep them that sort of like scooped, lovely sort of what I oh, like. So I like, like around. You prefer a bit that's of a me. That's me. That's me. That's me. Some people are going to probably yell at me for this. No, but because it's your dog. Go, and this is what we'll happens. This, we'll go this side. Yep. We'll go this side. So Here this is what happens that like owners like particular things. Like some of my poodles, I have no ears. Some have tassels. Like because every dog's sort of different and they look different with different styles. I've always wanted to tassel a cabbie's ears, Ooh. but I've never been gay enough to. <laughs> I'd love to see a, like a, see we're going to go around like this, just taking off the millimetres here and see how much cleaner that is. Tasseled ears on a cabbie. Well, if anyone wants that done for their cabbie, let us see. <laughs> yeah, because I'm dying to out. do it. I've always wanted to do like a full-blown gun dog trim on a cavalier. Yeah. But the only bit that scares me is going so tight on that neck area. Like I said before, no, like when we've stripped yeah. it out a little bit, I think it would look too harsh on a caviar. But it would be fun to do, fun to do just that one time. Okay, so you've used your straights yes. to a... Yeah, and we've just scooped around. Like I said, I like to have a nice sort of round sort of spaniel ear. So if people wanted to use curves, they could curve. Oh, yeah, if, if you do, yeah. If, I'm, if... A, I'm a straight girl. <clears throat> So I prefer straight. Yeah. I don't like, I'm, I'm lazy. I don't like chopping and changing no, between I'm the pieces. same. Yeah. And I, I feel like I get confused too easy. <laughs> and then <laughs> she's not paying attention and then suddenly she goes in and goes, oh, sorry. Yeah. So um, you don't use your thinners at all to soften the edges? No. 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 Wow. Yeah, no. Straight, straight to it. Because to be honest with you, he's only going to thin them out for me later on. It's true. Once he's had his dinner, he's going to do the thinning out. Let's, you know. He's just looking at you like dinner. <laughs> I told you I'm really lazy. I might be in the way there if I do it that way. See, no, here. you're all good, my friend. See, just the colour when you. Yeah, that's nice. There we go. Like that. We've got a few strays there. So then do you recomb to cross check? 
I'm a cross checker. You're probably like, oh my god, it's like school all over again. <laughs> Mel was the best teacher though. <laughs> I can tell you, Mel's wasn't the first school I went to. Oh, no. I didn't know this. No, I oh, didn't you? No. I did. I did a couple of little day <laughs> courses with somebody else, and girlfriend was not impressed. <laughs> so I looked out for the best, and you were definitely the best, and that's my love. So she's a fantastic teacher. She's very, very patient. Very patient. <laughs> Especially back in the day, I knew nothing about dog grooming. So. I have a retired cavalier that I do a gun dog trim on. Oh, do you? Yeah. Oh, Benjamin. Yeah, send it oh, through. Oh, please. I want to see. I want to see. We need to talk. We need to talk because I, I, I'm dying. Yes. Yeah. Yes. You guys need to connect. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yes, I think we are. We yeah, put yes, our little Macedon pages. Well, Benjamin, I think up northern New South Wales course. Yeah. Oh, I thought you were on our page. No, he might be. Oh, Caroline. Oh, we. Oh, there you. we go. We were talking about you earlier. I know. She was the best teacher, and wasn't I the best classmate? I was talking about how <laughs> awesome you guys were as students. Lots of fun. We were a lot of fun. It was a good year that year, wasn't it? That was a good yeah. year. Yeah, I got into showing with you and yeah, God, competing. Done... Yeah, clipboards. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Newcastle. Yeah, pH levels and shampoo. And yeah, yeah. There we go. So once we've done that, I mean, we can go we, while we're talking about years. It might also be good to chat about this as well. Yeah. Um, with his neckline. You probably can you see that I've trimmed all of this here? Yes, I can. Yeah. So Lachlan is ridiculously short in his his profile. So see how his the little cheat here that we do. I mean, I even take out in between his eyes here just to try and give him a longer stop. You see, he's really, really short. He always has been he's really, really short. short muscle, but yeah. to to give him just a little bit of neck, a little cheat is to take out under this ear here. So Are you going to do that now? I can if you like. Do you yes. not want to see that? Uh -huh, yes, you're very entertaining, Jack. <laughs> 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 so see all of this, like just to bring it in a little bit tighter here. Just comb it so out. Do you, how do you do that? So co co um, from, his, from his face here, we're going to comb back just to stick it up and then back to bring it forward. See what I'm doing there? Yeah. And then this here is what I would take out. Are you doing that now? Yeah, I can do that now. Yep. So all of this here, bear, oh. with, bear with me. Bear with and me. that would help um, aerate the ears a yeah, bit more it just, as well. Yeah, it's just so much clear. And because a lot of people, their cavaliers, nine times out of ten, the knots are always going to be at the back oh, of that Oh, definitely. Ear like, and I the get the little golf hatred. balls at the back. Yes. Oh, yeah. they're like solid. You get the number seven and just get rid of them. They're just hot. Well, you can, like I said, yeah. if you want to go in there with a seven or whatever, yeah. you can go that harsh if you want to. I tend to either scissor it out or we just grab our thinners and we can thin it out as well. You can go further down if you and want to. And you're going with the direction of the With the, the coat direction of the through. coat because we don't want it to look like it was, you know, done on purpose or anything. You want it to look as natural as you possibly can. There's nothing worse than like scissor mark these guys. Mm -hmm. that, or that sort of stepped well, look. because, yeah, they are. You want it to, you know, like you said, an they're an untrimmed breed. breed. <laughs> I get it. Yes, back <laughs> off with your angry emails. <laughs> <laughs> and we'll do the other side as well. I'll bring him around, around so I can. And once you've done way. that, we'll do his underline. Beautiful. So see under here. Oh, we're we... going for the close-up. Going that way? Yeah. All these little fuzzies here. I don't know if you can see it, but oh, here in the studio, it. there's just like little fuzzies going absolutely everywhere. So comb it back, comb this forward, and you want to try and sort of just make it nice and easy for you to get in there. Right? Mm -hmm. Can you see that? Yeah. Yeah. It can always be awkward on one side. like I yeah, guess it depends yeah. on what, yeah, whether you're right or left-handed, Handed, you know yeah. what I mean? And then we just comb it through, make sure that we've got all of those. So I would consider this a light tidy. Yeah, yeah. Or some, some sellers used to call it a, um, a face, face, feet, tail or whatever. Look at that. So, you know, it just gives him that lovely little bit of added neck yeah, that he was sort of lacking before. Yeah. See that? It's nice. 
It's not. It, it's it, it, it's it's really. It's so subtle, but it's just really really nice. And then to you give could do that. his underline here as well. So his underline. Camera. Yep. Are we going to do his lips in that as well, sure. or just the under under here? Just <clears> a little <throat> quick tidy up. So I would just like his ears. Just think on the principle. Follow the line that's already there. You can sort of bring it up and in a little bit and bring it back down here. So you want to go. So you're just taking off like you're just like, I would say just dusting that off. Yeah, oh God, yeah. But watch once I've done it about how much cleaner the dog is going to look mm. just from having that like horrible, you know, fly way. I mean, some people do like, like you said before, you wanted to take to the ears with inners. I don't like it. I, I like a nice, clean sort of line. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? And then the client also knows that, you know, yeah. you've actually done something. But And every dog's different as well. Oh, God, yeah. Oh, yeah, that looks nice. So See then that? you're following that through from the tuck up to the um, knee area and then towards. And then under those little bibbies here. Yeah. I like to really, really round his bib up. This is such a cute little pet trim. I love it. Yeah. It's, it's, the Cavaliers are fun to do, providing to stand up for you. Cause <laughs> yeah. They, they do don't get like some... to use their legs. Oh, oh, <laughs> oh, oh, I can hear every groomer crying because they're so, you know, oh, they're yeah. lazy dogs. But like I said. That's where you get your sauce from in your left arm. <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretty sure it was Karen Swan that told me, it was it Karen or it was Jackie that said, Pop a bottle of shampoo under them. Oh and my coincidentally gosh. enough, the Melanie Newman cell on essential <laughs> is the correct size to slide underneath your dog. Um, helps. It really helps. Helps. Because they the minute they hit it, they'll sit straight back up. So same same light here. I'm gonna come around the other side because I'm I'm right handed. Started his little bib up here. Yeah. Like this. Lift his little leg up. To follow it around. Beautiful. Can we see that? Yeah. Am I in the way? No. Nah. So I love the heart shape marking in the back flank. Oh, the yeah. heart shape marking through here. Like down. Oh, yeah. God bless him. Yeah. He's a very Tabby yeah. pancake dogs. Yes. Pancake. That, who said that? <laughs> yeah. That's so right. <laughs> so right. You've obviously groomed a few. And if, if you want to double check that they're both the same thing, we just lift lift our little pooch up. We're going to comb it down just to make sure that we're there, we've stuck. You never want <laughs> you right there for you. Um, make sure that they're the same the same length. You don't want any longer on one side than the other. Look at that. And you have to be so careful when you're popping down a cavalier. Oh yeah. Because they all of a sudden think, Oh yeah, I'm only I only have to use two legs now. So they have like no No. Yeah. <laughs> they can just like oh. Yeah. Yep. Brilliant. Yeah. So there you go. How's that? How's that? Oh no, this is a heart shape. Oh, there's your heart there. I beg your pardon. Let's go back to the That's yeah. our heart. Oh yeah. that. See now I Two and a half years, and I've never noticed. And now that you've said that, look at that, his little heart. So, because you have a cavalier, do you groom a lot of cavaliers? <sighs> I can't say no to them, yeah. yeah. I yeah. can't. Like, there's just something about And Joshua will testify that every time I've got one on the table, I'll send him a photo. <laughs> <laughs> so, oh, yeah, radio. It's just, you know, you tend to migrate towards the dogs that you've got on the ones that you've got. Oh, are. yeah. And I think most of us do, do. as well. They do. They understand. Yeah. I guess it's an understanding. Yeah, yeah. You know, each like, dog has got their own and personality. I feel like with me, if someone sees me with a bitch, I'm, oh, who grooms your dog? <laughs> oh, me. Oh, you're a groomer. Yeah. <laughs> So, like, people will just migrate towards it. Yeah, they do. They yeah, really, I really love do. it, but because yeah. it's like a little community. No, I think so. I think so. The Cavi community is pretty tough. They're very large. Good God. The Bichon yeah. one's probably exactly the same. Yeah, yeah. So, we've gone through pretty much everything. The, the only the other last little thing is his, um, his head. Sometimes we'll get that sort of mop top happening on the top of that. Um, again, you can it's take it good. flatter if you want to, like a gun dog, or you can just sort of strip them out. I tend to strip lock ones out so any of this so if you comb his little his little head back to the way it's going see those little can you, oh yeah you can on Mel's there yeah perfect 
So I would actually take those out. Even with a knife, I wouldn't and take a knife again, to his head. Again, they're just... Um, they're just his little flyaways. Yeah. So just to sort of keep and him nice when and you mean neat. knife, it's like a... Oh, yeah, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I, wouldn't, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't go to his head. I'd just, just use your fingers if you've got some chalk at home. And you or... can just do that at home. I find like just... Yeah, yeah. Easy yeah. peasy. Nice okay. and simple. So Beautiful. this is your little tidy and I'm pretty excited. So you are going to be coming on more regularly. I will be I'm back. Like... Yes, absolutely. If you're going to have me. I'm Good pretty God. excited. So um, Zach will be appearing on our YouTube channel. So if you haven't already subscribed, go over to our YouTube channel and subscribe. So Zach will go through different mobile um things and yes i want you to see the salon so yeah I, i'm going to bring the mobile unit here and give you a grand tour how does that sound that sounds amazing yeah and it'll be ridiculously fun <laughs> yay i look forward to it um so we'll go through a few other things and so um in the new year but this will be our last live for this year <gasps> Well, when, I know, but everyone's going to be so busy. That's eh? it. Like December is crazy busy with um, grooming and getting all those pictures ready for Christmas. Oh, my gosh. The rush has started, kids. Brace yourself. Brace <laughs> yourself. There's a reason they give you wine at Christmas. Yeah. There's a reason for that. And chocolate leading up because oh, you've only got time to right, stuff your right. face with chocolate. Yes. No, yeah. I'm happy for the wine. Stop with the chocolate. I yeah. Need it. So, oh, oh, you don't need it? No, chocolate? we don't need okay. it. We don't need it. <laughs> God bless. Um, yeah. <laughs> Corey just showed me something and I couldn't understand what it meant. Sorry. So, yeah, so definitely subscribe to our YouTube channel. Yes. We have lots of other grooming tutorials on there. Brilliant. And, but this will be our last live and we'll come back in the new year with um, our lives again on a Monday night. So hopefully you'll come back for that. Absolutely. Um, but we will have other videos. Um, I'll still be doing doing our videos during um, December. So they'll still Wonderful. be upload, yep. but just not the lives. Lots of so content. Lots, lots of, of content. Lots of content. Your videos are great. <laughs> they really are. Thanks, Val. It's, it's not, I'm not just saying that either. Too, like that, It's definitely something that is easy to follow for everybody at home that doesn't know what they're doing. They are. So... Or just as a little refresher, I watch them <laughs> just to remind. It's, it's, it's helpful to have people just remind you what you're doing. Okay, so you know how I am with praise. So, okay. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> so oh, you're welcome, Tara. And, Tara. Yeah, so definitely subscribe to our channel because we will have new um, content upload through December and January, but this is our last live. So if I don't see you guys, yeah, Merry happy Christmas. Christmas. Happy oh, Christmas, in Tracy. the UK. I love the UK. <laughs> <laughs> I want to be in the UK all the time. It's same, beautiful. Same. So, um, yeah, until next time, happy grooming, and we'll see you in the new year, but I'll see you on my other videos as well. Wonderful. Thank you, Zachary. Pleasure. Oh. Oh. Bye, guys. Bye. <laughs>